I really had no idea that Samsung was such a big deal. You know, until I run um, across this post, I read it, one of the songs by Roberta Flack is one of the saddest songs ever written. I mean, who really thinks about sad songs? Um, being sad is not something uh, we celebrate, but apparently there are lists, you know, top 50 sad songs, top 100 sad songs of all time. They celebrate it, which, which I find a bit weird, you know. It's really some weird psychology that apparently um, when you're feeling sad, listening to a sad song makes you feel better. Um, <laughs> I didn't thought of that. I didn't thought of that, so I was, I was, I was, you know, I was kind of confused. I mean, anyway, um, my personality type is, uh, you know, melancholic, I'm kind of in a melancholic, so the sad songs kind of appeal to me. And when I thought about it, I realized that I've actually been listening to a lot of sad songs for all kinds of reasons. Um, but yeah, I have a list of songs that, um, which I think are sad, which I think are, are good sad songs. <laughs> I mean, that's an oxymoron in, in a way, but yeah, good sad songs. In no particular order, let me just mention a few. Um, okay, they send me my love for you by Whitney Houston. And she just thinks about this guy, you know, she loves very much, but she can't be with him. You know, but all the same, she's going to save her love for him. That, that's, that's, that's really sad. You know, we've all been through that kind of thing. You know, when a person you like is not available, or for some reason or another, you can't be with them. So, yeah, I feel for her. And she also has another song, um, My Love Is Your Love. Basically, she's thinking about loyalty, right? Um, when you're loyal to somebody, you know, you're willing to like give them their your all, but they're not kind of returning it in the same way you are. That's sad. That's sad. And um, another one I really like. Um, if I can just, if I can just take it off my hand. Um, um, okay, the Simon and Gafanko, the Scarborough Fair. First of all, it's, uh, you know, it has some brilliant melodies. I mean, you know, those two guys when they sing, it's really, really great. And they're singing about this poor guy, you know, who, um, okay, who's got this girl he loves and he can't be with her. He can't go and party with her, he can't go to the fair with her. So, you know, I, I mean, he's imagining what the kind of things they would have done if they were together. That's sad. And then there's Gladys Knight, you know, my best singer ever. Neither one of us. Okay, she's got quite a few, but I like neither one of us. Because she's talking about when you when you want something or you like something or somebody, but you know it's not gonna work out. And maybe you shouldn't be wanting that something or somebody. But you can't really let go because you know we all don't like saying goodbye anyway, but you know, we just hang on. There'll be no happy endings, but we still hang on, you know. Because neither because neither one of us wants to be the first to say goodbye, that's what she says. And then there's Anne Murray's um somebody's always saying goodbye. I mean, like I've said before, we all hate goodbyes, really. But every day, every single time, you know, we have to let go of some stuff, or some people. Depending on your personality type, that can be really, really hard. I mean, some people, it's easy. It's easy to do that. They can just, and they just pick up and go. But in some of us, it's not easy. So, some of the saying goodbye. It's just another sad song. And then there's Dolly Parton and Kenny Rogers, who 
you know, I mean, they've been collaborating for a long time and they've given us some really, really great music, great songs. But that one song they, they did together, the last one they did together. You know, you can't make old friends. I mean, it's a celebration, of course, I mean, of their friendship, and they've been friends for a long, long time. They were friends for a very long time. They produced some very great music. Download the app on App Store or Google Play Store now. Vision Digital Experience, the future of media.